Welcome back to the Dr. Hutch Show. I'm Dr. J.L. Hutchison, and we're talking about real estate investment. I'm talking about real estate investing. We're going to talk about the fundamentals, pretty much so. And this is, if you don't have any knowledge of real estate or know of, it doesn't matter. This basically is the, pretty much the basic, but this is how you look at making big money in real estate. Uh, one of the first things we and we were talking about price. People look at price right. as more important. How much do you have to pay for the property? And another thing that people need to understand is terms. How are you going to pay for the property? <laughs> you know, so where the cash is going to come from? And those are usually the basic things where people look for, like the loan. Mm -hmm. They look for the loan. They look for where the price is, how much. And you look at the market. Now, if you see a house that is, uh, as this is just an example, so if you, if you got a pen or a piece of paper, you can write this down. So if you see a house that's uh, in a market where it's $200,000, right, and the guy said, well, you can uh, buy this house for 200000 well, you say, well, that's, it, it, you know, that's a good one. But if he say, I'll carry, and you pay 250000 you pay 250000 and he'll carry the note, owner finance, no credit, five years to pay it off with a 30-year immortalization. I mean, immortalizing it for 360 months, right? So would that be a good deal in a market that's where the top price is 200000 It's the way you buy it, the way you buy it. Because if you was to do the regular loan, a 30-year loan, you will actually be spending about $146,000 more than if you paid the $250,000. You would actually save money. Mm -hmm. It depends on how you buy. That's the game of real estate. You've got to figure out how do you buy the real estate. The cheapest way to buy it is not necessarily going to get in a conventional loan. Sometimes you may change your mind. So what we do at Tricon, we make sure that we put people in a piece of property, give them the opportunity, they can sell it, they can flip it. Because most of the time when you go get real estate, you go get a loan, you put a loan on it, first thing the uh, bank say, okay, we're going to give you a prepayment penalty. So that's money that you're going to end up losing. So they go charge you for it, for you selling it. <laughs> so they, they charge you money on top of money. Then they, then they say, you, somebody who's going to try to buy it from you is a thing called non-season. That means that the loan is non-season. That means it hasn't <coughs> been a year. Like in Arizona, it's six months. So for a year, your loan, you have to wait a year before you can even sell the place. That is a pain. So now, if you find the opportunity where the market is growing, going up, and you got an opportunity where you can take some cash out, you can't even take the cash out because you got what? A prepayment penalty, mm -hmm. and you're going to have the closing cost. Mm -hmm. It's not even worth it. Mm -hmm. But if you buy it right, where the only carries for 12 months, you only put like about $15,000 into the plate, maybe even five, maybe even borrow hard money from somebody else, you may be paying about 12, 18 percent interest, but say you turn around and that market gives you $100,000 and you, ain't, you don't have a prepayment penalty and that 12 to 18 percent that you pay is for a year, but you turn around and you go and refinance it and take that cash out in six months. That $100,000, most of the money that you end up spending, probably you end up with about $75,000 based on the closing costs and everything. So it's better to put $75,000 in your pocket instead of giving it to the bank. Mm -hmm. So it's the way you do it. That's the strategy. And so when people say, well, you know, I say, well, I don't have any money to invest in real estate. Believe me, the thing is OPM, other people's money. Other people's money. I like that term. You like that term? <laughs> yeah. OPM. Yeah. Other people's money. So how many friends and relatives do you have give you an opportunity to do something with real estate? The thing, one of the other basic things is the urgency. 
the level of motivation. When people hear you hear motivated sellers, the deal that exists with the buyer and the seller, who is it? Is the seller need to sell because of his circumstances?